Hi, this is John Olson, Pioneer Field Agronomist, Southeast South Dakota. Out here scouting uh, some soybeans and started noticing some random trifoliates that were wilted off and starting to senesce. Uh, what we've got here is ductus stem bore feeding. So that beetle, the adult beetle, bores into the stem, lays its eggs right at the base of these petioles, these branches. You can see it just falls off right there. And we'll split this open. And hopefully find the larvae to show you what's going on in here. You can clearly see some brown tissue where there's been some obvious feeding going on. And as we follow the stem down, we find the larvae of a ductus stem bore right there. So these beetles uh, likely emerged around the beginning of July. Uh, we saw a few flying around. They're kind of a difficult beetle to spot. It's not very common to find them. Uh, they have a really long emergence period, so they're hard to control from insecticide. Up to one to two months of emergence uh, so insecticides are difficult to emerge to get the timing right. Uh, but what this, is, what's gonna happen to this plant is it's gonna continue to bore down through that stem. And you may see some more senescing. It may, may die a little early, but for the most part, it's still gonna look like a pretty healthy plant. And it's still gonna produce, it's still gonna put pods on, but there probably is a little bit of yield impact, maybe five to 15% according to some research, just from boring out that pith. But the real concern is come harvest, this larvae is going to work its way all the way down to the base of this plant. And it's going to girdle it out and create its little overwintering home down here. And when it does that, when this plant reaches maturity is about when that happens, uh, this will get very susceptible to lodging. And you'll see this stem break off right probably an inch or less above ground level. And that plant will just fall over. And obviously that creates the majority of the yield loss that we see with deck to stem bores. So really the only management right now is to prioritize harvest uh, to get those beans right at maturity so that you don't get the lodging. And then uh, as far as managing for next year, tillage does help to break up those overwintering uh, cocoons per se that they're making down at the base of that stem. And other than that, we got to continue to work to find ways to uh, manage this pest. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.